Good day to all you CPU connoisseurs out there. It's Jacob. And Dave. Back again for another PC Games and Hardware Show. Yes, today we'll be your guide through the jungle of leaks and rumours surrounding Intel's upcoming 9th gen CPUs, the Core i7-9700K and the Core i9-9900K. As rumours have it, both will be launching any day now as some of the first CPUs off the line for a Coffee Lake refresh. The launch marks the first time the mainstream desktop lineup will feature an i9 chip within its ranks too. That means the i9-9900K comes with a couple of extra cores, a few extra threads, and what looks like a higher price tag too. But is that all worth it for gamers? Or will the i7-9700K, the first of its kind without hyper-threading, still reign on high as the holy grail of gaming performance? Not much is officially known about the Core i9-9900K, but judging on the sheer quantity of benchmarks that have made it out onto the web, we can be pretty damn sure that it does actually exist. The i9-9900K is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU featuring the same LGA 1151 socket as Coffee Lake. It's technically the same pin layout that was used with Skylake and Kaby Lake chips too, but since backwards compatibility has been blown to high heaven, that's kind of a moot point nowadays. What that does mean, however, is that if you really felt the need to update your Coffee Lake CPU to the very latest and greatest chip on the market, you could just swap in the Core i9-9900K into your rig with ease. Why you'd want to, however, is, well, it's still up for debate, but we'll get to that. It looks like a 5 GHz boost clock will be available right out of the box too. That's roughly analogous to a special edition Hexacore i7-8086K. That particular chip boosted a single core to 5 GHz, but it was the overclocking chops that really caught the eye of most enthusiasts and performance hounds. 92% of all i7-8086K chips managed a 5.1 GHz all-core overclock. If the silicon is as overclocking friendly on the i9-9900K, a 5 GHz all-core overclock should be a pretty reasonable feat for even its 8 cores. But then you have the i7-9700K, a rather strange addition to the Intel i7 lineup. This chip marks the first time in living memory that Intel has ditched hyper-threading on its top i7 CPU. Instead, this chip features just 8 cores and 8 threads. Luckily, the specs of the i7-9700K aren't as murky as the i9. Confirmed in a review only a few weeks ago, this chip will boost from 3.9 GHz on a single core to 4.9 GHz, a 1 GHz boost taking this chip to just a little shy of the big 5.0. You'd expect some pretty admirable overclocking chops on the i7-9700K too. And all that for a TDP of 95 watts for both chips. Yes, despite the increasing core counts, both chips feature the same 95 watt TDP as their unlocked CPU forebears. But TDP is more of a recommendation than a hard and fast rule, and as such, it should be quickly disregarded if you plan on overclocking these chips whatsoever. The top mainstream i7 from Intel has always been untouchable when it comes to pure gaming performance. Intel's single core computation just can't be beat. But the i7-9700K and i9-9900K's extra two cores won't likely scale equally in every game. We only expect marginal improvements over the Hexacore i7-8700K across most of our own benchmarks. A review posted exceptionally early over at El Chapo Sass Informatico reckons the difference in game performance, applications that don't tend to take advantage of multiple threads, was only a few frames a second between Intel's i7-9700K, Intel's i7-8700K, and even the 4-core i7-6700K. But these benchmarks were carried out on a GTX 1070, so we'll have to wait and see if the delta between chips increases with NVIDIA's latest and greatest RTX 2080 Ti in the hot seat. However, if you're looking for streaming, recording, or serious Chrome usage while gaming, those extra cores and threads could come in handy. That's grounds that AMD's Ryzen CPUs have been lording over for well over a year now, and Intel is keen on taking back its crown with its next gen. Intel's 9900K has proven it will dominate CPU leaderboards already, sticking it to AMD's Ryzen 7 2700X in a recent 3D Mark Times by run. The i9-9900K at what looks to be stock clocks scored nearly 20% better than AMD's top chip. Synthetic benchmarks too look to be making good use of those extra cores. The 9700K has been shown to beat the i7-8700K consistently throughout synthetic benchmarks, if only by a little bit, but falls short of the Ryzen 7 2700X at times. Yeah, it looks like this 8-thread chip just can't keep up with the Red Team's 16-threaded flagship in multi-threaded tasks. However, that shouldn't be the same problem for the i9-9900K and its own 16 threads, ostensibly set to take the multi-threading top spot from AMD's finest. And Intel's cores tend to take to overclocking just a little better than their Red Team competitors too. The i9-9900K is no different, managing to easily decimate an overclocked Ryzen 7 2700X with what looks to be a 4.8GHz overclock, and we expect it could probably clock a little higher too. 
The 6-core i7-8700K is currently around $360, and the 8-core Ryzen 7 2700X is priced near enough to $320, but we can be pretty sure Intel isn't going to be able to match AMD's pricing on a core-for-core -core basis. Both chips were briefly listed for pre-order over at Silicon Lottery, with what looks to be likely price points for either chip. And it's good news for gamers interested in Intel's i7-9700K, which is expected to cost around $370. That's likely going to shake out around the same price as the i7-8700K eventually. But the i9-9900K is actually looking pricier than we expected it to be at $480. Mm, yeah, if Intel truly wants to compete with AMD's Ryzen chips on a price performance basis, the price for the i9-9900K needed to fall closer to $400 than $500. With a price of $480 looking pretty likely, gamers are going to have to think long and hard about whether the hyper-threading and extra 100 megahertz is really worth all that extra cash. It wouldn't be all too surprising for AMD to launch its Ryzen 7 2800X CPU in rebuttal, however. Intel would be smart not to give AMD too much space to maneuver with its pricing of this chip, if it really does exist, of course. But you'd be warned, pricing for Intel's i7-8700K skyrocketed due to dreadfully low stock levels at launch. If reports of Intel's 14 nanometer shortage are true, which seems quite likely considering the abundance and veracity of said rumors, the i7-9700K could be met with similar supply woes. The i7-9700K and i9-9900K are expected to launch early October. That's almost exactly a year after the launch of the first Coffee Lake desktop chips last year. Intel has kept the launch date of these two chips quiet via the official channels, however that doesn't mean that the Grapevine doesn't have something to say about when we can expect the 9000 series chips to launch. There have been various benchmarks and leaks regarding these chips in recent weeks, but that early review pretty much confirmed these CPUs are in their final form and ready to ship. It also lines up with when we expect the Z390 motherboards to launch too, which hasn't been officially confirmed itself, but again is expected to be around the beginning of October. So if you're looking for the ultimate gaming chip, the i7-9700K is probably your best bet. All the hyper-threading of the i9-9900K isn't really going to net you all that much performance in-game. At least not yet, anyways. But modern gamers often do much more than just play games on their machines. And if you really must have the very best in multi-threaded performance, gaming performance, and just want to stick it to your friend with an AMD Ryzen CPU, then the i9-9900K isn't likely to be beat. Even if AMD does have a Ryzen 7 2800X up its sleeve, it likely doesn't stand much of a chance competing with Intel's top silicon on the current 12 nanometer Zen design. So if you like what you've seen today, then give us a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and tick the little bell to let us beam our opinions directly into your brain. And for those of you that prefer the written word, head over to PCGamesN.com for the latest in gaming and hardware. Yeah, thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below if you are considering picking up one of Intel's latest chips on day one. Bye!